Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. Let's continue with organic chemistry. And in this video, we will talk about homologous series. So what exactly are these series and how we come across with these different names? To begin with, we have two important terms to learn, hydrocarbons and carbohydrates. So what are hydrocarbons? These are organic molecules which contain only carbon and hydrogen. Whereas for carbohydrates, it contains carbon, hydrogen and also it has to contain oxygen. Now we will focus on hydrocarbons at this point. Based upon the different type of bonds between carbon-carbon, we get different categories. So, the bond between carbon and carbon could be single, could be double, could be triple, it could be a chain, it could be a ring, the bonds could be alternate and based upon that, we get all these different types of compounds. Alkanes, then we got alkenes, alkynes, cyclic compounds and we got aromatic compounds. And let's talk one by one about each group. Here is the first group, alkanes. These have all bonds as single bonds. Look at the example. We got a chain of four carbon atoms and they are connected to hydrogen atoms. Every bond is a single bond. So they all end up with in. Moving on to alkene. In this case, we need to have at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Look at the example again. It's a carbon chain, but between these two carbon atoms, we have a double bond and they end up with in. The next one is alkynes. And what's the rule for alkynes? There should be at least one triple bond between carbon and carbon. Look at the chain. We got four carbon atoms. And between these two carbon atoms, there is a triple bond. So we end them as wines. Next one in the series is cyclic compounds. It is an alkane which turns into a ring. So we get different shapes. We can have cyclobutane where we got four carbon atoms into ring. We can also get a ring which could be five carbon atoms ring and so on. And these are called as cycloalkanes. One last type of organic compounds is aromatic compounds. All these compounds also had aroma. The word aroma means sweet fragrance and all these compounds really have nice fragrance. So. What are these aromatic compounds? By definition, they all are associated with one structure and that is benzene. That's the structure of benzene with six carbon atoms. We can also have any functional groups attached to the benzene and they will be classified as aromatic compounds. So in fact, what you just saw was the example of different homologous series. So what did we learn about this series? These are the series of compounds which are based on the similarity of their structure. Like they all may have single bonds or they may have at least one double bond or they could be ring form and so on. They will also show some common properties and similar reactions. There is one more thing you will notice that these compounds will have a general formula and they will be differing from the earlier compound in the series by a group like CH2 group. Let's talk about some other properties of homologous series. One important thing, they all will have a same general formula. Like for example, alkane general formula is CnH2n plus 2. Also, the formula for a homolog differs from its neighbor by a CH2 group. All these compounds will have 
same functional group they will also have similar chemical properties about the physical properties you will see a gradual change in physical properties like molar mass increasing the melting point also will be increasing and about preparation synthesizing those in lab we can almost use similar methods if you know how to synthesize one compound so guess what you guys learned some basic things about homologous series in organic compounds i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you again in next video until then bye bye